Now at five, a spectacle on the sand. I don't know how it did it. <laughs> and kids were probably swimming next to it, you know, who knows? A crocodile spotted, lounging in the surf and taking a swim for hours on Hollywood Beach. Tonight, trappers work to capture a crocodile. And that capture happened a little after one o'clock this afternoon. In the hours before then, people flocked to Hollywood Beach to get a look at the site we just don't see very often. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live on Hollywood Beach with this story. Joan. Well, this crocodile captivated and mesmerized everyone. People were not even afraid. They just wanted to get closer and closer until it was finally captured. As rare sightings go, it had to be among the most unusual creatures to appear on the beach, a six-foot crocodile. Been here since I'm 15, I've never seen that, ever. It's amazing. The croc was first seen six in the morning at the Dania Beach Pier. By mid-morning, it had made the trek south along the shoreline to the center of Hollywood Beach, where it attracted a crowd and a cascade of cameras. The reptile seemingly only too happy to pose for photos. It's really majestic, I mean, seeing this here. Actually, I'm trying to figure out how it even got in the um, ocean here. Nobody knows how it got here. Crocodiles in South Florida generally prefer ponds and canals and mangrove swamps. Once endangered, they are making a comeback, says Zoo Miami's Ron McGill. Crocodiles have made quite a recovery in the state. I mean, there was a time when uh, you'd be hard pressed to find a crocodile. This is the only place in the entire country where both crocodiles and alligators can be found together. This crocodile seemed content to hang out at the water's edge all afternoon, taking a dip every now and then, disappearing momentarily beneath the waves. This is their environment. We're just here as guests. And, um, well, my fellow officer over there has been working for the department for 20 years. He said he's never seen a uh, saltwater alligator crocodile wash up on shore. After over an hour swimming south and doing its best to elude capture, fish and wildlife officers and a trapper finally corralled the rambunctious reptile near the end of the broadwalk, and the crowd erupted. It took a while. Um, we have to understand that I was informed, I didn't know this, uh, that this animal is actually a protected animal. So we couldn't just go in there and grab it. The Florida Wildlife Conservation couldn't just go in there and grab it. Um, they had to get permission, and I, I assume they got permission, went in and, and uh, took this animal, and then now it's being released into the wild. And according to Fish and Wildlife, the crocodile is being evaluated, tagged, and will be released into a suitable environment. You know, maybe we're going to be seeing a lot more because, according to Fish and Wildlife, the number of crocodiles in South Florida has gone from only a couple hundred to over 2,000. We'll have more on the crocodile coming up at 6. Reporting, Hollywood Beach, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.